This is the Ozark Trail 10% family cabin tent and in this video we'll be testing its ease of setup, ease of takedown, spaciousness, comfort, ventilation, and more. I bought this Ozark Trail tent from Walmart at a very, very inexpensive price and got the tent and poles inside a carry bag along with a gear loft, room divider, 14 steel stakes, a tent floor repair kit, and warranty information. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. For ease of use, I looked at how easily I could put this Ozark Trail 10% tent up on my own and with two people as well. After, I looked at how easily I could take this tent down. There are three fiberglass poles for the roof, six poles for the walls, eight pre-attached guy lines, and 14 stakes. Six stakes are for the tent body and eight are for the guy lines. To set up the Ozark Trail tent, first unfold the tent and slide the three fiberglass poles through these pole sleeves. The poles are not color coded, but the pole sleeves are. The two green pole sleeves are for the longer diagonal poles, and the one blue pole sleeve is for the shorter pole. Then connect the fiberglass poles to the elbow connectors. This will make up the roof and takes about 5 minutes with two people. Next, attach the six wall poles to the elbow connectors and to the pin at the other end. This will take another one and a half minutes for all six poles. Finally, place the fly on the top, secure it, and stake out the entire tent. This will take another three minutes, so altogether for the entire tent, it'll take about nine and a half to ten minutes with two people. It took me about double the time to set it up on my own, but unfortunately, because I'm not tall, I could not get the fly up on my own, and that's where I got stuck. Taking down the Ozark Trail 10% tent and then packing it up takes about 6 to 7 minutes with two people, and about 12 minutes on my own, excluding washing and drying the tent. If you want more detailed instructions on how to set up and take down this Ozark Trail 10% family cabin tent, I did a full review that I will link to here. The Ozark Trail 10% family cabin tent has a peak height of 88 inches and the lowest height in the tent, which is at the four corners, is about 65 inches. This is slightly taller than my height, so I could stand up everywhere inside this Ozark Trail tent. The length of this Ozark Trail tent is about 13 feet and 9 inches while the width is about 9 feet and 11 inches, so slightly smaller than the market dimensions of 14 by 10 feet. Also, there's no vestibule, so if you leave your shoes out, it will get wet if it rains. This Ozark Trail 10-person tent can accommodate 10 single sleeping pads or sleeping bags, and here's what having 10 pads in this 10-person tent looks like. To accommodate 10 people in this tent, it's almost shoulder to shoulder sleeping, although there's some space down the middle for just a tiny bit of camping gear. This Ozark Trail 10-person tent can also fit 4 queen-sized camping mattresses, and here's what the tent looks like with these 4 mattresses. The mattresses that I used are slightly smaller than queen size, so I'll put the dimensions of each mattress in this video for a better reference. These 4 mattresses take up the entire tent and there's hardly any space left over for camping gear. The Ozark Trail 10-person tent has 5 identical windows, each measuring about 43 inches in length and about 25 inches in width. This is the longest length and the longest width of the window. There are 2 windows along the length of the tent and 1 window on the width of the tent. Each window has 2 zippers, which are a little bit noisy but are generally quite snag free. If there's no rain, you can unzip the windows for more ventilation, and there's a bug net to prevent larger bugs from getting in. The holes are quite large, so I don't think this is Noceum mesh. If it's raining though, the windows have to be kept closed or rain will be able to get into the tent. The Ozark Trail 10-person tent has just one door, which is a D-shaped door, and it's located somewhere along the length of the tent. The single door measures about 54 by 39 inches in dimensions, although it's about 62 inches from the floor to the top of the door. This is almost a full-size door, but I do need to duck a little when entering. The door is quite big as well, about twice my size, though I think it's probably a tight fit for two people to enter through the door at the same time. The door does have a bug net, but it's only for half the door and not the full door. If there's no bugs though, I like to unzip the entire door and leave it open by rolling it up and clipping it to the side, right here, like this. If there are bugs though, the amount of ventilation that you get through this door will be about the same as each window in the tent. 
The door has two zippers for the bug net and two for the door itself. The door can be zipped up from both the inside and outside. The zipper quality is not the best, it's a little bit noisy and it always, always snags from the outside because of this rain cover. Every single time I open this door, the zipper will snag at least once, sometimes twice, which can be annoying. This Ozark Trail 10-person tent has only two pockets in the entire tent and both measure about 13 inches in length and 6 inches in width, which is very tiny for such a huge tent. It also comes with a gear loft for more storage space, but it's not the biggest and I'm not tall enough to attach it without some help, but if you're slightly taller, you should be able to attach it no problem. There's also one lantern loop at the very top of the tent for some lighting at night. I cannot reach this either, but you should be fine if you're a little taller. The Ozark Trail tent also comes with a room divider so you can split the tent into two rooms and each room can fit two queen size beds. Because there's only one door in the entire tent, only one room will have the door and the other room will have only windows. You can also fit just one or two queen size beds in one room and use the other as a living room or something like that. What I don't quite like about this divider is that it's sheer, so not completely opaque, and also it's not exactly full length. There's some space at the bottom that's not covered, and there's also some space at the top that's not covered by the divider. This Ozark Trail tent also has one e-port at the bottom of the tent with no zippers or velcro closure but I did not notice any leaking when it was raining. There's no darkroom technology though, and it's quite bright throughout the day. For ventilation, this Ozark Trail 10-person tent has a lot of mesh on the roof of the tent. The rain fly is removable from the outside, and you can stargaze when it's not raining. I really enjoy laying down in the tent and watching it turn dark during sunset. Apart from the roof though, there's not a lot of mesh from the five windows and the door because they're not very big. Also, when it's raining, there's hardly any ventilation. There are no ground vents or roof vents, and there are actually no vents in this Ozark tent at all. All the windows and doors have to be closed because otherwise the rain will drip right into the tent. Even in light rain, the rain fly doesn't cover much of the tent at all, and rain does get onto the mesh, so it's best to keep the windows fully closed, or at least close to fully closed. The rain fly has to be in place, so the ceiling mesh will be covered. You might get a little bit of ventilation through the gap between the ceiling mesh and the rain fly, but I think it's pretty minimal. For weather resistance, I looked at rain and wind protection. It rained for about an hour while I was using this Ozark Trail tent with about 20 minutes of moderate rainfall and about 40 minutes of pretty light rain. After about 15 minutes of mostly light rain and some moderate rainfall, I started to see some leaking through this seam. This seam connects the blue part of the main body of the tent to the bathtub flooring and I think that's what they call an inverted seam but is not taped or not sealed. Also, I noticed that some water was already seeping through this blue fabric here and the fabric is pretty much soaked. After the full hour was up, there was quite a bit of leakage and here's what it looked like. I don't think this Ozark Trail 10 person tent will do very well against strong winds. This is a cabin tent, so the shape isn't aerodynamic at all. The pole structure is very simple, um, there are only 8 guy lines in total, and the stakes aren't your super high quality stakes. For quality, I looked at the flooring, tent body, rainfly, stitching, zippers, mesh, poles, sticks, guy lines, and general overall quality. There was no info provided by Ozark Trail on the material of the flooring, but it feels like your regular polyethylene bathtub flooring and doesn't seem very thick. The material of the tent and rainfly is made of 68D coated polyester fabric. When I run my hand over the tent fabric, it feels a little bit sticky and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the coating wearing off or the material degrading or something like that. I also found a bunch of loose threads on the floor when I first got into the tent and excess material on some parts. As for stitching, I found loose threads all over the tent, something like this. 
some parts of the stitching aren't that great as well and there were fairly large holes especially where the guy lines are connected to the main tent body. The stitching especially around the doors and windows don't seem that well done either and I found a lot of excess threads as well. These zippers worked fine for the windows but kept snagging on the door because of this rain cover. My other tents with similar designs did not have this snagging problem. The quality of the mesh was okay but not great. There was quite a bit of this sort of inconsistent mesh in some places, so not very well put together. The mesh doesn't exactly feel soft and silky, and I'm pretty sure it's not noceum mesh, though it'll keep the bigger bugs out. The three roof poles are made of fiberglass, which are a bit more flexible. I wouldn't recommend putting this 10 person tent up on your own though, because it's quite difficult to get the roof to prop up by yourself. Sometimes I worry that these fiberglass poles will break because they're not that sturdy. The six wall poles are made of steel, I think, but they're probably not stainless steel because I found some rust on one of these steel poles. So after washing your tent, and I also do rinse off the poles, do let them dry first before storing them away. The 14 steel stakes that came with the tent are just your regular tent stakes, nothing impressive. I had no issues with the guy lines, though it would be nice if they were reflective at night. They don't seem to be. The carry bag seems to be of okay quality, and it can be made bigger for easier packing up. It wasn't too difficult to get the tent, poles, and all other accessories back into the bag. Overall, I can't say that I was very impressed by the quality of this Ozark Trail 10% family cabin tent. I even noticed some black stuff on my hands once I took it out of the box, which was weird. This Ozark Trail 10% tent has a packed size of 29 by 18 by 13 inches. For a size comparison, here's what it looks like beside a Coleman 2 person sundome tent as well as a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle and it weighs about 30 pounds for everything. For pros, the Ozark Trail 10 person cabin tent is very, very inexpensive and is by far my least expensive tent for the size. And it even comes with a gear loft and room divider. It also has a nice high peak height of 88 inches, plus its side walls are vertical so it offers a lot of livable space. I could stand up everywhere inside this Ozark Trail tent. For cons, there's only one door in the entire 10 person tent, there's almost no ventilation at all when it's raining, and it also leaks within just 15 minutes of light rain. And finally, the biggest con is probably that the quality isn't the best with the slightly sticky tent fabric, loose threads, snagging issues, and inconsistent mesh. But ultimately, I think you get what you pay for. I did not pay much for this tent, just slightly over 100 bucks, and I don't think there's any other brand apart from Ozark Trail that you can buy a 10 person tent for. For this price. I think it works totally fine in fair weather so you can take the rain fly off and open all the windows for a decent amount of ventilation. It definitely won't be great in strong winds, heavy rain or even light rain though. If you're expecting no rain at all, this is a great reasonably priced tent. But if you need something higher quality with a bit more weatherproofing, I compared this Ozark Trail tent against 5 other 10 person tents in this video right here so do check that out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.